Hi guys, it is a gray, gloomy, depressing day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is now Tuesday, September 27th, 2022, and I've just been trying to find a place to squeeze this little rant in. Uh, I see my battery light is flashing, so uh, since there's nowhere else to put it, just in case you guys have uh, missed what Haiti is looking like now. Good Lord, anybody wanting to see a postcard into the future of the planet, just Google YouTube search Haiti. This is from the BBC just out. Uh, this is supposed to be a two-minute read. We shall see. Haiti in a humanitarian catastrophe. According to the UN, as a humanitarian catastrophe, <clears throat> a chronic gang, economic, and political crisis has led to a humanitarian catastrophe in Haiti, that country's UN envoy has said. Weeks of violence and attacks on food aid warehouses have rocked the nation's food security, Helen LaLime told an emergency <coughs> UN Security Council meeting in protest, I don't know who Helen is, in protest of the dire situation, you cannot have a story with the word, letters UN in it without the word dire, in protest of the, of the dire situation, Businesses have closed and transport services are not running. Thousands are calling for Prime Minister Ariel Henry's resignation. Civil unrest across the island escalated after he announced an end to government fuel subsidies on September 11th which caused gas, gasoline and diesel prices to skyrocket. And this is, a, it, this is so when you, when you don't think the situation in Haiti could get any worse than it's been, try uh, telling the folks that we're no longer going to artificially suppress the price of fossil fuels, and you will watch Mad Max uh, unfold. Since then, uh, since September 11th, protest and looting have intensified with the capital Port-au-Prince at the heart of it. They, you know, anyone looking for the ground zero of societal collapse, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, you don't have to go to Lagos, Nigeria. Ms. Lalime, whoever she is, told the UN Security Council on Monday that an estimated 2,000 tons of food aid valued at close to $5 million were lost following repeated attacks on local food warehouses of the UN Food Program. She said, quote, that would have collectively supported up to 200,000 of the most vulnerable Haitians over the next month. Uh, World Food Program's Executive Director Valerie Garneri, who was also at the meeting, said, quote, the situation in Haiti has sadly reached new levels of desperation, close quote. How can you reach a new level of desperation in Haiti? Inflation has risen to its highest level in a decade, and 40% of the country is now relying on food assistance to survive, she said. Uh, she added that she expects food security to deteriorate further this year with 1.3 million people in a state of emergency due to the crisis. Criminal gangs are at the center of Haiti's problems and chronic gang violence has left hundreds dead and thousands displaced. 
rates of gang violence, which had already shot up since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise by mercenaries last year, have reached shocking new levels since a battle erupted in July between two criminal alliances. Good Lord. So we're going to, I love the first three comments out of the, uh, with eight thumbs up from John. Haiti has failed big time. Evacuate it and carpet bomb it. Give that one a thumbs up. Uh, dirt bag responds or don't evacuate it. Three thumbs up. We'll make that four thumbs up. And then will responding to dirt bag. Why? No, I guess to John. Why would we want the Haitians to evacuate and bring their bad behavior elsewhere? Let's just hope, hope for another devastating earthquake. We will give that the second thumbs up. Finally, something we can all hope for. Another devastating earthquake in Haiti. You know, you reach a point. Uh, good Lord. Little dog, what do you think? Should we go uh, spend the winter in Haiti? I think you would end up in the stew pot pretty quick. Anyway, get out there and wish for another devastating earthquake in Haiti while you still can. But speaking of food security, I need to go secure some mashed potatoes and my little dog needs to go secure some Walmart chicken while he still can. Bye, guys.